When Mick starts working with Roddick, a young dog with no history of being crated, Roddick is reluctant at first, but the treats win him over. If your dog is concerned about the rattle of the crate or the tray inside the crate, you can pad the bottom of the removable tray by putting a rug or towel over the floor of the crate with the tray setting on top. You can also put a rug or towel on the top of the tray if needed. Feeding meals in the crate helps, as does putting the dog's favorite toys in the crate and giving him treats in the crate every once in a while. A very good resource for making the crate training fun is a DVD called Crate Games by Susan Garrett. The goal is to make the crate a fun place, a bedroom, and never a punishment or jail. If your dog is barking or whining while in the crate, don't approach him. Wait until he is quiet, even for a few seconds, and start to approach. If barking or whining resume, freeze until he is quiet. Repeat this until you can approach the crate without your dog making noise. Roddick develops a comfort level with short sessions in the crate even sitting on a cue from Mick before being called out of the crate. Using the door of the crate to block the dog's exit if he tries to bolt out of the crate is helpful too. Be careful your dog doesn't get pinched or frightened if you use the crate door to block him. Roddick's first session is a good one.